guys, my name is Dimitri Marmonides and today's video is going to be how to put the correct pressure on your kite. So again, you know, a lot of people asking, oh, how hard do I need to pump my kite? What's the PSI? Usually I don't use this tool, okay? This is a gauge to show the PSI on your kite. I don't, I don't, I don't use this. All I use is the feeling, okay? So if you're a beginner, you want to pump your kite not really hard, the leading edge, okay? Because as a beginner, you're going to do a lot of crashing. So you want to pump your kite uh, not really hard. And then once you get better and better and you improve and you do less crashing, then you want to pump your kite really hard. Like hard, rock solid, hard. The leading edge has to be like ding, 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 you know, when you hit it. So it's all the feeling. You don't need any of those gauges to, f to figure it out uh, what PSI you want it, okay? Uh, but again, uh, I'm gonna show you on this video how to put the correct pressure as an advanced rider because if you're an advanced rider and you want the kite to perform really well, it has to be, you know, rock solid, okay? The leading edge has to be really tight, okay? And if you're learning a lot of tricks and you're gonna do a lot of crashing, then you don't wanna put too much pressure on the leading edge uh, so it doesn't explode. And then if you're teaching a beginner, then you wanna put less, um, uh, pressure on the leading edge but again you know there's a, a maximum and minimum pressure you want to put on it so you don't want a kite to explode and you don't want a kite to perform uh, not good so if you put not a lot of pressure on it the kite is going to be flubby it's going to be like a jelly fishing so there's a limit between these okay so anyway let me show you how to do this we're going to take the screamer nine and we're going to go and pump it okay so let's uh, secure the kite we're going to put the leash right here okay and here, we're not going to pump this, we're going to use the big valve. So here, we're going to close it. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to put the elastics around because I'm going to pump the kite really hard, rock solid. So if it crashes, I want it to release some pressure. Okay. And here, we come here. Now, you see how sandy it is? You want to make sure you take all the sand out. Everything has to be clear see here you don't want any sand you gotta blow okay make sure there's no sand around the threads okay now put it in okay now you want to twist really hard here okay then open the top okay make sure there's not so now we're ready to pump, okay? So make sure it's clean, no sand. Then put it in, push it in hard. Perfect, it's in. And now you're starting to pump. Okay, your car is pumped. You can see, okay, touch here. You see how soft it is? You see the creases here? Okay, so again, even as a beginner, you want to still gonna pump it, okay? You want to pump it a bit more. Okay, a few more pumps. That should be good. We come here. Okay, you see here? You see how soft it is a little bit still? But you don't see any crease. Just only when you bend, okay? So this is good. For beginners, it's good. It's not too soft, so it won't jellyfish, okay? So for crashing and teaching, that's perfect, okay? So. That's good. But now, if you want to go and have a, a better performance of the kite, you want it rock solid, okay? So I'm going to pump it a little bit harder, okay? Okay? Oh, yeah. You hear that sound? That's, look, my fingers don't even dig in. It's hard. So that's perfect. So this is for the best performance of a kite, okay? So once you're done, you come here, remove it, close the valve, tight it, put the cover, and perfect. Again, that's the sound you want to hear. Another test you want to do is, look, try to bend the leading edge. See, I'm trying to bend it. I'm trying to bend it here. It barely bends. That's perfect, okay? Now, again, this is for best performance, okay? So when you're not going to do a lot of crashing, okay? Now, as a PSI, if you're going to use the gauge, this is around... 10.5 psi when it gets really hot rock solid here you see you can hear it now that means it's perfectly pumped you know this is rock solid it's the best performance that's how the kites will perform like when they're hard rock solid like that they're, they're gonna have the best performance on it okay but again if you're gonna crash a lot 
make sure you don't pump it that hard, okay? Because you don't want the leading edge to explode. Anyway, again, another test. I'm gonna to try to bend it. See, it's barely bending. I mean, it has to bend a little bit, but it's very hard. I'm putting a lot of pressure on it to bend it. So, we are good to go.